This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Uh, we're looking on this 24th Monday, the 24th of April. The Dow is up 48 to 33,856. So I spent some time all of last week discussing how this very strong nine period exponential moving average holding over the 14 gives tremendous internal strength to whatever price you're following. In this case, it's the Dow that we made a peak D at 34,082, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman methodology on the 14th of April. On the 14th of February, we hit 34,331 at peak D. So now we've made a peak D under that. And that just suggests that we're having a little time out here, a breather, that until we start to trade under 33,500, very short term, I'll say 33,500, we could go sideways. There's even enough strength to bounce. But I think the upside is capped at this particular point in the 34,000 to 34,100 area in the Dow, in the weekly chart. We'll talk about that as the week progresses, but we're in that inside track repellent zone, so there's a lot of resistance. Looking at the S&P at 4137, and the 4163 high, uh, five, one, two, three, four, five sessions ago, market sessions that is, um, is there as a peak F. I haven't put in a down arrow yet. It's still holding right above the nine period moving average, which is above the 14. That gives it time. It says there's a process that has to go on if you're about to collapse. And I'd say 4,088, 4,085, somewhere around that area. We, we crack that. And now you're going to be going down for a little bit. Looking at the QQQ, it's the NDX 100. Also trying to rally. It's only up 13 ticks at 316.72. Made a double top uh, twice in April. It's gone to the 321.63 and the 321.42 area. So the 321 area is very strong resistance. But it's in basically almost like a rectangle formation. So there is support IWM, Russell 2000. 178.04, up 48 cents, holding quite nicely. Gold had a big move down earlier in the week, last week, and then it kind of stalled, and then again on Friday was down. Today's down too, so it's having a digestive phase. The dollar isn't acting all that well. It's down, and bonds are down. Honestly, what are bonds doing right now? Uh, bonds are up 1930 seconds, but in the trading range. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I have a webinar coming up a week.